Do you remember our fieldwork in Spain 10 years ago? We received funding for that hyperspectral flight campaign, which was so expensive. And everything had to be perfect. We were so worried that everything would turn out the way we had planned. Yeah, I remember very well. You were so worried about the weather conditions because it all depends on a cloudless sky. Speaking of the sky, um, imagine a world when there are many, many hyperspectral satellites like NMAP, like CHIME and others. Chances will be much higher to get cloud-free images over your area. My name is Saskia Förster, I'm from the German Research Center for Geosciences in Potsdam, short GFZ. And I did my diploma thesis already here in this place some 20 years ago, how time flies. It was about mapping urban surface materials and I remember climbing up many roofs to get ground truth information. At that time, I later on returned to GFZ to join the NMAP science team and was um, very lucky actually um, to work on so many interesting topics and uh, with so great colleagues since then. Hi, my name is Charlotte. I had the great opportunity to write my diploma thesis about the surface cover fraction development in time based on hyperspect remote sensing data. Actually, I was supervised by these two ladies, Saskia and Elena, and we had so much fun working together. And thanks to them, I'm still fascinated by hyperspect remote sensing data. Hey, my name is Alena. I did my PhD here at GFZ some 10 years ago on sediment tracing using spectral data, and I was supported in my fieldwork by Saskia and Charlotte then. Besides my work for HyperEDU, I'm also a researcher and teacher in the field of optical remote sensing and hydrology at the University of Potsdam. And we've known each other for 10 years now, such a long time, and uh, share so many good memories of fieldwork. Yeah, as for instance, carrying this pretty heavy field spectrometer up and down the Spanish hills. Oh yeah, and also the struggles we had when processing the airborne data that we acquired. Yeah, it's not trivial to work with mm -hmm. imaging spectroscopy data, but they hold so many information, and despite all the struggles, it's uh, fascinating, isn't it? Yes, I completely agree. But nevertheless, there are one or two things you should definitely know before attempting imaging spectroscopy analysis. And that's why we developed this massive open online course, which is called Beyond the Withable Introduction to Hyperspec Remote Sensing for You. Let's welcome Charlie, who will tell you more about the MOOC and will guide you through it from here on. Over to you, Charlie. Hello, my name is Charlie, and I will be happy to guide you through this course. In this course, you will learn the basics of imaging spectroscopy. No matter if you are a student, or a professional, or whatever continent you are from, this course was designed for you. We hope to provide some helpful background information, process understanding, and applications that relate to your area of interest or expertise. We do, however, assume that you have a basic understanding of remote sensing techniques and radiation transfer in order to really enjoy this course. To make sure we are on the same page, we've created a short quiz. If you pass, feel free to continue. If you don't score the required minimum, then we suggest that you look into the recommended resources again before starting the course. The course is designed to take about five hours, and you can complete it at your own pace, whenever it fits into your schedule. But before we start, I have a question for you. Can you imagine how many people were actually involved in the development of this course? We ourselves were surprised. Why don't you try and guess their number during the course? We will provide the answer at the very end. By then, you should have learned what imaging spectroscopy is, what application fields it is useful for, what the physical background is, which sensors are commonly used, how spectroscopy data are acquired, where you can get data from, what software you could use, and finally, first processing steps to analyze them. And don't worry, there'll be plenty of opportunity for interaction. 